Kodai Senga. The Mets are one of several teams reportedly interested in the Japanese pitcher. Senga put up some good numbers in Japan last year. Never know how that translates anyway, but I do like the fact that the Mets are looking at all of the options here. Harp, what are the scouts saying about Senga? Yeah, we saw a clip uh, before going out to, to break, and uh, he's got an outstanding splitter. That's his kind of his signature pitch, but he does throw hard, too. He throws in the mid to upper 90s and can get to 100 occasionally. We saw that from Tanaka when he came over at times, Japanese pitchers. So he's a guy who projects is a number one, but he does have command issues, the scouts say. So, you know, he wa has too many walks at times. He's a guy you got to see come over here and have success because, as we've seen, uh, not everybody, not every Japanese pitcher, pitcher does it. The ball is a little smaller in Japan. It's a little tackier, and they get more rest over there. They basically only pitch once a week. So uh, I think there's going to be – he's going to get a good contract. He's going to get a big number, but I don't think teams are going to – some teams are going to be leery about bringing him in. I think his tools play up well in the scouting world, as Harp talked about. You know, big fastball up in the zone that plays hot, and the splitter is just such a great equalizer. Two very good pitches. Um, you guys remember Tyler Austin played for the Yankees for a little while. He's been playing in Japan the last couple of years. Uh, I asked him what he knows about Senga, and he said, big fastball and one of the best splitters I've ever seen. He faced uh, Senga in the Olympics uh, when he was playing. Austin was playing for Team USA. And that's the other thing when we think about how these guys translate over there. Senga's pitched in the World Baseball Classic. He's pitched in the Olympics. These are big jewel events with a lot of pressure and a lot of hype that scouts pay attention to. They say when they perform well in those environments, that actually comes across as a very big positive when you think about how they're going to perform in the States. Yeah, I love it. And look, you never know how it's going to translate exactly what the, you know, what's inside of these guys, the competitiveness. But it is exciting to think about every fifth day. It becomes an event around here when you have, you know, a pitcher from Japan who has a lot of hype and comes over with a big contract. Some work, some don't. We'll see what happens with Senga.